Oh, hello, Integrals and the Frenchals. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you an upgrade to what I did last time, which was an awesome Amphoral stick. It had a great stacking ability, excellent attack, and the whole kit worked very well together. I was impressed. And we used pretty much the best battery in Pokemon Electro, but Zap Thunder quickly, very quickly charges up any lightning Pokemon. And with that sort of speed, that sort of power, Let's hook it up to the best Mega Lightning Pokemon that exists. This is the Mega Envoss. Look at its stats, look at its damage, and its effect is powerful. If you can quickly charge up the Mega Envoss, how dangerous would it be? We're gonna find out. So, I'm gonna explain to you how this Mega Envoss deck works quickly because, hey, it looks quite similar with a few minor changes the last time. Something uh, something new that may help this out too. And you're gonna see this in three. Awesome matches for you, that is. So, let's get started. This month's intro is my remix of Closer. By the Chainsmokers, we can only use next uh, Friday. I think that's it. That'll be a new year soon. Okay, so, let's get started. Now, last time, I made an analogy that Mega M Faros, or Ampharos was Android. That was version 1.0. This here is 2.0. So, it only has one attack. And you can see, you know, with the 2.0 version, there's a significant, very significant damage or hit point increase. So, let 1.1, you're gonna see the synergy between the or the similarities. See, it has, oh, wow. 60, no, 80 hit points. It's gonna survive much longer. It will not get one shotted as easily. And with the Gigavolt attack, we saw that sometimes did 120 damage, or sometimes paralyzed. So if we upgraded this Android attack. We get Exavolt. It's called, uh, what's the name of this? Gigavolt. Then Exavolt always paralyzes instead of sometimes and does full damage. It actually, the base damage is the strongest version of the Gigavolt, 120, but this does 170 if you choose to overload it. What does that mean? When you overload it, it does 170 damage, pretty much KOing its regular EX self. And not only that, it permanently paralyzes or always paralyzes your opponent. I mean, if you keep attacking, they can break free from the paralysis. So, overloading your CPU, your systems does a little bit about damage. It's overheating, it does 30 damage to itself. That looks bad, but, you know, if we get a good nice uh, cooling unit for our Android, or a good uh, fan, like the rough uh, seas, yeah, water cooling system. Once during your turn, you can heal 30 damage. Oh, the exact amount of damage it takes from Mega Ampharos. And of course, you don't need to use the bonus damage every single turn. You just make sure you get the paralysis in first and just follow up with a regular Exavolt so you can benefit from bonus healing. So, this is really truly an upgrade in fighting power to the last Ampharos. Well, you lose some utility, but hey, this is the 2.0. It's a big and powerful Pokemon. And you know what? It still is powerful in its uh, regular and Faros EX form. So what does this Android do? Hey, well, it has a self-charging uh, well, attack. Thunder Rod. It's, you look at Dex 4 cores, which is a, such a low selection. And if you're lucky to find any lightning energies there, they all go into a Faros. That sounds good, but uh, hey. He only, he only got seven lightning energies, which should go down. We'll talk about that in this deck. So your chances are of actually getting extra energies, you make often it's none. Most of the time it's just one. So don't rely on Super Rod, even though it sounds good. So, Sparkling Tail. Let's say this Android can bypass anything. I mean, it's smart, I get all those out of hack, so nothing can stop this 100 damage, nothing. 
This attack is not affected by weakness, resistance, or any effects on your opponent's Pokemon. So you will take 100 damage. Sorry, Red Guys. Sorry, uh, Carbeak, which we will see. It's not gonna stop it. So, it has a really good kit. We should use Shrine of Memories with this. Except we're gonna have a better solution. We have Zebstruka, who is a hacker. Yeah, for his lightning friends, he gives that same sparkling tail effect, bypasses anything on your opponent to your Mega Ampharos. Since Mega Ampharos can't use his previous attack, there's just no room for the upgrade. This is why Zebstruka is gonna be uh, good. It's a nice substitute for Poco Ranger Hex Maniac, and it works in synergy with some other trainers I have, such as the Level Ball or Ultra Ball, which you know helps pick up the Pokemon from the evolution line. Not only that, its attack will KO any Pokemon that has weakness or resistance to fighting, which Evil Tall, Lugia, those are very popular and common, so if you happen to run into those, just send this out, drop a DC on or an Electrode, and you will KO them and it makes a nice backup attacker. Alright, now the remaining of the deck will look similar. We have our battery, Electrode, you evolve this, you discard it, they, you actually knock it out, they get, your opponent gets a prize card. Which sucks, they get closer to winning, but the price. I mean, the benefit is awesome. Two lightning energies in one single turn. The Electrode and the DC instantly charges this up. You probably don't even need any lightning energies as a backup, which we'll still talk about in a bit, so keep, still keep that in mind. And, of course, one emergency Raikou. It is great. In an emergency, you need something else that's not... You know, and Faros go along with this in case, hey, I can't set up Zebstruka or something. And Sushi Master, you're here for the holidays. Welcome back for uh, more card pools that you're ever stuck. So, you have less than five cards, you're hungry, he cooks you more food. Okay, this time I actually put rough season uh, to undo the damage. We already talked about that. The remaining of the deck. Draw power. I have Sycamore. I have Ends. I have Lysanders to drag out cards I need to, uh, you know, dangerous cards I need to take care of. I have one Super Rod. There are very few Pokemons in this deck. One's enough. I probably, in case Sycamore discards something, we won't have to use it as much. And there's no reason to burn a Sprock for this. And, let's see. Level Ball, Town Map. I'm writing some extra copies of uh, Pokemon Center Lady because. This is worth two prize cards. I have to keep it in battle as long as possible. If I lose two Mega Ampharos, I'm pretty much lost. Because if I use two Electrodes to charge it up, that's two prize cards gone. This time, we don't have as many chances as the Ampharos deck. Now, what were you saying about these Lightning Energies? If Electrode and DC completely powers it up, why would you need them? I would say it's for emergencies. I'd say this is like the normal amount of cards I use, even less than uh, normal I would use for my deck. So, you're gonna see how uh, maybe seven, maybe redundant, and maybe in the future we can sh shorten this. Put, let's say, uh, trainer mail, and that could make this deck even more powerful. So, keep that in mind. Let's move on to the first match. I have a feeling what this might be. I think you do too. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Welcome to another Ampharos match. We may be playing against last deck videos. So, that's all I can do. Let's just let's just get started. So, uh this remix is something, you know, have access to yet that's coming out in January so but I'm sure you probably recognize the tune it's anime music yeah what else so we see Marie we're gonna see uh this is Ampharos the baby Ampharos and oh man oh man you go man so he can use Thunder Wave which uh, he missed out on that he, he 
he should have used Thunder Wave and, you know, get a chance. Actually, it would have... He's not ready. I could discard this and grab Sushi Master, which will help me set up. So I'm gonna do that. Let's go ahead and discard these two cards. I don't have any draw support, so I saw Sushi Master was there. Take a look. There's only one more Megan Faros. That's actually not good. Well, it's in the prize cards. We'll find it eventually. So, Sushi Master, you are now out. And let's go ahead and use the Abyssal Hand. See what else we can get. I'm training up. I need card flow. So this is why I'm doing that. And we got another energy. We're going to use that Super Rod because we know this is important. So let's go ahead and grab it back. Maybe it's a little too early. That's okay. I'm going to use Thunder Rod. And hey, all the energies I need to attack. So... I cannot one-shot this Ampharos. Yeah, well, it's not Ampharos yet. It could make a vol evolve and we'll be in trouble. Actually, the rough seas is out. Yeah, as long as this is out, I'm gonna take no damage from the Mega Ampharos. So, we, we, I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. In this case, the bigger version has the advantage of the little version, unless there are multiple that have evolved. So, We'll find out soon. Evo Soda. This is... It's probably gonna go for the bag one. He should try to paralyze me. With the Thunder Wave. This attack is... First attack is still, you know, lethal. Oh, it misses. Okay. Or, or game changing. You know, if I use... I gotta get some for two free card fulls before I use N. There's this. Perfect. We don't need the energies. I have... I probably need more and far to charge up. So, let's go ahead and see what else we can get. Oh, yeah. We can't attack with it, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and put out Electrode right here, and that's everything I can do. I can get rid of the Mareeps, because they will be a problem eventually. So, let's take it out, and that is my first prize guards. I didn't even have to use my Electrode, it was low enough, so... One of these is a Mega... I pulled it right away. Mega Infarls is up. There's the little baby Ampharos, but it is going to get one shot at by me. Unless it paral... No, there's way easy ways I can do for paralysis. He's going to shuffle one my Ampharos, which hurts. Now there's Shocking Light. The stadium totally negates one Shocking Light. There has to be multiple Shocking Lights. But it happens after... Well, every, all the damage happens before the Rep C. So, actually, he has the Gigavolt attack. He does stand a very good chance of getting the KO on this. Oh... If he just can get another Ampharos up. There's the Raikou. Sh oh, shoot. If those Voltorbs evolve, we're in trouble. It gets the Lightning Energy. Oh, man. Shocking Light. 30 damage, which will get undone. Giga... Oh. Ow. I nearly died. I nearly died. We have to go for a plan B at this point. Let's go ahead and we'll heal it up. I can't... Okay, well, we, he end the way the card I needed, so... I don't need any of these cards, guys. The only thing I could probably use is another Voltorb, but it's also priced up. So, let's just go ahead and deal with the Blitzel, we don't, so we don't need it anymore. I'll go ahead and attach this right here. Let's go ahead and heal up. Okay. Come on, Sushi Master. You can do this. I can't KO this. Let's use Sparkling Tail. But at least he isn't going to use his ability to get the KO on me, which would be pretty bad. So now, he has to just use a regular attack. Shocking like isn't going to do anything. Raikou is going to be very loaded up. So... He heals himself up. Shocking Light again, this could be a paralysis. No. Oh, Rough Seek is still out. We're okay. Gigavolt. It's... I'm, I'm gone. He took out Ampharo. Okay. I said I have the advantage, but I just didn't get the card I needed out. So I'm gonna get rid of this now. It's gone for sure. We have too many energy cards. I'll load this up right here. I'll rough seize right now. Let's go ahead and use the electrode ourselves and charge up uh, the Ampharos. So, ooh. Get a prize card. He knows exactly what's going on. So let's go ahead and use the sparkling tail. Finish off the baby Ampharos. But now we have to mega evolve, guys. We don't have the spirit link. I think this, you know, this could be it. He's gonna take. 
he need, he could easily two shot me with this. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good. This is being breaked out. And Sushi Master teammates, two of any cards you want. Oh no! I think he can get the one shot. He might have just won right here. Bull, all these Voltorbs on. Oh. Oh, you got me. I think this is it. Buzzap six. Let me think. Six twenty. You got me. <laughs> okay, so the end and the way beautifully the Becca and Farls I needed to get ahead. So let's uh there's the spirit link, that's good. There's a I think I think this is it. Sushi Master finally comes down and we see Thunderlands! It is gone. I have to, you know, maybe retreat or do something. Two and Farlses are gone, and now I'm gonna end. Yeah, I just, you know, just pulled all my energies in a row instead of playing a, a Sycamore or something. So, we have a Zebstrika, which we can evolve. So, of course, we're gonna evolve it. Let's go ahead and do this, and see if we can pull like something like an escape rope of our own. Because now he only has one card, so I believe he'll be stuck. That's GG. Let's just use Crashing Bolt. It, wait, if this Pokemon has resistance, it does not. There's nothing I can do? Can I pull anything with Sushi Master? I've, I've already used it. I could not get the Mega Ampharos up. I had too many energies. It got me. My last... The last deck got me. Oh. Oh. What's that with being Raikou? You jerk. Well, that's, that's, that's good to know. Oh, man. Oh. Good job, Laura. Good game. Ooh, it's a fighting deck. How weak the fighting deck. And now I sort of want to keep this Blitzel. Because I there's no... That's the card I need to get through it. However... I don't have the Pokemon to fight with at the moment, so... Let's move on with the game. We'll have to see... We'll see if we can, you know, overpower this uh, fighting deck. Welcome to another Mega Ampharos match. I'm gonna play my remix of... This is... This game from the anime No Game No Life. It's a very cool anime, by the way. So, let's uh, move on. Okay. What are you? Carbine. Carbine Brink. You... I mean, this is an excellent fighting support. I feel it should be in every single fighting deck. And what is your... Re oh, strong energies. My Blitzel... My Blitzel's gone. We're in trouble, so we need to retreat this ASAP. So, number one, we need to get the Sushi Master up, which we don't need another artillery. You have to go home. Definitely, ET has to go home. So, let's go ahead and throw this down. And I have to Sycamore. Let's go ahead and get an extra card because I've, I want to use an Ultra Ball, but I will want to discard these two. Oh, that's, a, that's a better choice. We will have to... We actually don't have to discard anything, but I'd rather end. I may need that big, uh, you know, card sweep. So, I'm going to get Ampharos out. It can actually attack this Carbink. So, no Blitzel is technically required, but yeah, you, know, you still... You may need it, so... I don't want this thing to... You know, let's do it the safe way. I will just slap it with my sparkling tail. I'll just give it a blitz so it, right now it's just too hard to retreat it and save it so... If we have to deal with future... Machamp break. You see this two combination. It is Machamp. Machamp. I didn't mean to say break, but Machamp with the spinner rack. And it goes along with Sceptile. So, he decides not to attack for this. I may have a chance to save my carving. Okay. Pokemon Fan Club search for deck for two basic Pokemons. We're probably going to see another Machamp. Maybe second spinner rack. But the combo is when you poison the Machamp. Crazy Hammer kills anything, pretty much. And I'm weak to Machamp, so we have to race, really race against this Machamp. And, okay, he could have taken out the Blitzel, which we know is the real threat. I'm gonna go ahead and discard these two. 
I can go ahead and lose the stadium. We're gonna go ahead and grab out not Zebstrika. The Electro. Because this allows me to attack. This allows me to go through this. I don't know. We have to hurry. If this much champ is out, we're in trouble. So I'm gonna go with Spazap. He's gonna get an extra prize card. Uh-oh. So now I'm gonna I may just use this to retreat. Let's Let's use this to retreat, yeah. I'll go ahead and do this, send this out. I can get past, yes, so. Octillery, pull away and put me some more cards, please. If I slap this, I'll die. I cannot use Lysander because he's gonna use the steaming bad move next, which reflects and doubles the damage I, I've got. So, you have to be in the mega form by the next turn. We are gonna go look for that spirit link right away and the mecha and Farrell spoof, so. There's a spirit link. I have to get the first hit, otherwise I have to get a second, you know, and Faros up. That's all I can do, guys. We are gonna use a sparkling tail. No matter what, you have to make a fall. I think that's that. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe he'll save it. Is there Lysander? Lysander is not down there, so we gotta be really careful. We have to set up a second Ampharos, or just you know, deal with it. So, he should send out the Sceptile. Should. And if I know that, I'm gonna have to get something up to deal with this Machamp, because the Crazy Gamer will get the one shot. Actually, it cannot get the one shot without the Spinner Rack. Yeah. So, he's. Everything could just happen next turn. We don't know. And maybe he's like, why, why did that attack me? Why did that attack uh, work? That's because Sparkling Tail's like, yeah, I'm an EX Pokemon, it goes through everything, so it's like, hey, he must be cheating or something, or that's not the right energy. It's This is the card I'm worried about. He could have used it for here, but he decides, uh, I'm going to poison, make it go to sleep, which everything is going to be cured when we have this in Faros. So, now I'm feeling safe, but I need to get the Lysander up. I need to deal with this. I think... Let's just go ahead and do this. Go ahead and recover my cards. What happened to the Electrode? Oh, it's still attached on. So, yeah, this is a good time to play it. Let's go ahead and Mega Evolve you. I'll go ahead and heal this up. I don't want to Sycamore. You know what? I will sick. No, I'm just going to end. I made my choice. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put the energy. Nobody really needs an energy. Only in Farls can take energies and it's stuck here by prize guard. So, ooh, that is very good. Let's, we need to look for that end. I mean, the, the Lysander, because he still has a chance. Somehow. Probably. So, let's go ahead and grab out level ball. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some stuff that shouldn't be in my deck anymore. Let's pull out the Blitzel and evolve it. Yeah. Oh, Blitzel. It doesn't work. It is 100 hit points. Totally forgot about that. Here we go. Let's go ahead and evolve you. I don't know why this is an Electrode here. Oh, the Voltorb card's discarded. That's why. There's no reason to get it back. Let's go ahead and use the Exit Volta. Yes. I will do 30 damage. This will get me to KO. And it gets me two prize guards. So, this is an EX Pokemon. So this is still a threat. I still have not Lysander. I'll pull you. And I'll pull Spirit Link, and that means we can get a backup ready to go in time to deal with the Ampharos. And pretty much it's ready to go next turn. All I just have to do is pull the Mega Ampharos card, and we're good. So, he's got two Spinaracks. Only this one can evolve. It's loading up for the final, final KO of this, which, if he does get it, now I'm confident enough turns have gone by, I think I can deal with that. So, let's go ahead and show what we got, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. I'll go ahead and heal myself up. I think, it, you know, if this is Lysander, good. We won the game for that. I need the Lysander. We're gonna suck more, guys. We have to find Lysander. It is the key to winning. So, we see... Hey, we see Blitzel. We see another Ampharos, which is good. Let's go ahead and throw this down. Let's go ahead and throw this right here. Let's see how many Mega Ampharos. They're all still in my deck. I'm still okay. It's for now. We're gonna use Exit Vault. We're not gonna do the bonus damage. This means Machamp will come out and it's gonna be ready to attack. 
I need some draw power. Lysander, you're a little too late, man. I probably will not be looking for Lysander. The card I am going to be looking for, it's out. I'm going to lose this card, is the Mega Ampharos. I'm probably going to Sycamore and just hope the magic happens. He's going to poison his Pokemon. This activates the condition for Crazy Armor. I have a weakness. This wasn't going to be that clean sweep. However, if I, get the, if I can attack this, I'm okay. I need to Mega Evolve it. That is an absolute. It has to Mega Evolve. I don't need Lysander anymore. Thanks, Lysander. I could... Yeah, actually, Lysander comes. We could pull that card out. And he wins. Alright. The card I need now is Mega Ampharos. I have two of them. There you are, Ben. The least riskiest way is... To, well, I'm thinking now is playing the escape rope. He's gonna force him far, send Pharos out, and if he's get this card comes out, I win. If he can't get the poison condition... Okay, we're gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna straight Mega Evolve this. I'm not confident that I can uh, win it just like that. He can just retreat his Pokemon and then we'll be in trouble. So, let's go ahead and attach this. He gets a prize card. If he gets a KO next turn, he wins. But he has to deal with the paralysis. So... You know what? We're not gonna waste this opportunity. I don't need these two cards. I'm gonna keep the Lysander. I don't need the Lightning Energy anymore. We are gonna go ahead and grab out... Actually, I probably should've. Mega Ampharos. Make sure... You know, we don't draw any unnecessary cards. Load this up. I think I've used Sushi Master. No, I have not. So, let's go ahead and use Sushi Master. Maybe pull the energy, pull something, keep my hand... There you are, man. Let's go ahead and use X of what we have to paralyze. And now, if he can remove his paralysis, he wins. If he does not, I win. So, of course, I prefer that I win, but... Oh, well played. Well played. If I, what if I use escape rope version? Maybe. Maybe. So. Teaching. <laughs> that was a choice. Potion again. I mean, you want, man. Don't rub it in on me. Let's poison his nest. <laughs> and attacks. Weakness damage. Get blown up. Get blown up. If I take that, yeah. By the way, by the way. So, that's, you know, now Electra is coming back to get me. <laughs> Good one. Oh, moving on. So, what are the most powerful lightning Pokemons there are in Pokemon? Now, let's go start with the stage twos. Yeah, no Ampharos is why I brought it up now. And what else? Sphinx, which evolves to Luxray. That's stage two. That's so I think I picked that one up a while back. And Vekavolt, yeah, the new from one from Sun and Moon. Who's the best out of them all? Hmm. Hmm. I think Ramphoros really is. You know why? Because it's the biggest. Size matters. It is the biggest one of them all. So, anyway, let's up. You know, I think that's that. Totally, because you're the bigger guy. Bigger guy wins. That's just how life works. Sorry. Welcome to another Mega and Farrell's match. I am gonna play my remix of Kuchizuki Diamond from the anime Yamada Seven Witches. It's a cool anime. So, let's uh, move on. It's a, it's a cool story in general. Oh. You know why I really regret about this? Because I could have saved this for uh, the Electrode. However, both Sushi Master and Electrode is important. So, we're going to see if this actually works. Oh, it missed out. That's okay with this card right here. I'm still pretty happy and I hope he does discard the stadium. But why would you want to use Team Aqua's secret base? That increases the retreat cost of plenty of Pokemon. And I don't like that there's an enhanced hammer here. What's something involved? Probably... What's going on?
What is going on? He can copy. Is he? Uh, this is a bench sniping thing. Is what I'm saying. The retreat. There we go. Now I'm glad because I could use that rough seas. I only have three rough seas. All Pokemons have trouble retreating. And while he does that, he's going to nail my Pokemon with his bench sniping attack. It's going to hurt pretty badly. And he's going to use, because he's using this as bonus damage, fire. Fire is not going to help. It gives him weakness. Yeah, weakness damage when he's using the Joltix, which has not occurred yet. So, I get some free extra card pulls. Oh, I want to keep my rub seas, but this is going to give me more cards. Save me the trip. Hmm, not bad. I got exactly what I wanted. So, Enhanced Hammer going to take that away, so I can still attack. I actually need the Spear Link. Pretty badly. Yeah, I'm likely just going to Sycamore this through, destroy some uh, ends, destroy some Verse Seekers. And just pull through. We have a DC here. We're definitely able to attack. This is the attack he's going to use. Electro... Probably double thread. Hit these two things. They have to evolve. This I'm not so... Well, the rough seas was out. I wasn't... I wouldn't be so worried. Okay, this has to happen. I don't need to play this. I could play N. But I think, uh, you know what? I'm going to end. Let's go ahead and get rid of Sycamore. Once we have our Sushi Master, it doesn't really matter too much. Why would you get Sushi Master, Donald? I think I really want to be sure that I can slap this card. So, let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, Sushi Master, please come out. Please come out. Here we go, N. Spirit Link. Oh my gosh, Mega Ampharos is out. But Sushi Master may not survive. I made a choice. I made. Well, I wanted to be sure that I could attack. So, let's go ahead and use Bazap. He's going to get a prize card. So he doesn't know which one he's going to... Well, he'll get. It also, I could have pulled the rough seas too. So, let's go ahead and toss this down. I'll go ahead and mega evolve you so you can get the free KO. Go ahead and grab the Spirit Link. Full Torp. I'll put my faith in you. He can't get that that fast. So, Exavolt. Yes, we have to do the bonus damage. I do not have my stadium. Otherwise, Sushi Master could survive. So, we take two prize cards. What's it going to be? Definitely the stadium. Definitely Mega Ampharos, so I'll just all play them right there. I mean, town map is awesome, but you know, you don't need Sushi Master. He's not gonna send the Cavantula out? You may actually live, but if it attacks, it's gonna go for these guys. They're not gonna be on there for long, so Tails. Oh man, dude, this card is painful. So now you see definitely what is up. Double Thread. It attacks two of them. You it applies weakness resistance, however, I'm not using a Shaman. Now, if this was a very Shaman heavy deck, it would get me, so... This, this deck right here, Arapika, you're, you have creative style, I like it, so... Alright, we have the Electra, but we need... Oh, we're stuck. Let's go ahead and toss in the Electra right here. I'll go ahead and drop the energy down. Oh, the cards I need, they're gone. You know... I really like my Sushi Master. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, but is it time to use the Super Rod? Is there a reason for me to use Super Rod? I don't think so. Okay, I made my decision. I'm gonna go ahead and just use Exavolt. I'm gonna click no, because hey, it's only a 30 hit point Pokemon. We'll go ahead and take that down, and I will take an energy card because I can use energies and that means Ampharos is able to attack however what's the card that's going to destroy maybe discarding the energies up from the Rattatas is going to if it evolves into Raticate it can discard my energies every single attack so there we go we see an energy discard this electrode has to go here I really want the Sushi Master to come out though so we lost three of our DCEs there's only one left and it's not in my prize cards I'm stuck Electroweb and he's gonna, you know, he's actually going straight for here. But he already knows I have to bazap, so it doesn't matter. So, bazap. <laughs> it's a creative deck, but when it comes to taking down Big Mega, it doesn't have a solution for it. And if I were, if I did use plenty of shamans, maybe, because it would destroy my shamans. And uh, yeah, and he couldn't find anything to lock me down with. He had a lot of energy discards. He had, uh, you know, some anti-retreats, which is all cool. But against this deck, just this particular deck, it doesn't matter too much. The Ampharos charge up way too quickly. 
and there's nothing that hey pull out the hoopa and just lock it down while you burn me so just not this deck but you go man and to take a look huh. so, so yeah you could hit for weakness damage water flaring i'm sure against the right deck this was be so cool to see there's that crunch to discard the energy so arapika thank you for letting me show you back up y'all yeah thanks it is an awesome awesome oh, rogue deck thank you well, looks like you made it to the end. You must have really liked Mega Floros. Thank you and congratulations. It is time we rate this deck. Let's break it down. Damage. B. Two shot. Really? 170 damage. You know can KO, I suppose, one of the weakest versions of EXs. But you know these days, Fighting Fury belts... Mega Pokemons, GX Pokemons, they'll survive. I mean, this text is very meaningful. That's part of the payoff, but uh, damage going against bigger tier decks, bigger Pokemons, it's a two shot. They have a chance to recover like that Machamp and uh, things, could, uh, things could pull through. So uh, anyways, um, what else? Uh, reliability. There's a lot of evolving here. The Mega Evolution Ruins Spirit Lake makes it tough to get this guy out. And, and ooh, you're giving your opponent free prize cards. Free cards and a quicker victory. Uh, it can't be an A. A is something like Rayquaza Volcano. This is a B because it's totally doable. You can even make a better version with adding the trainer mails. Yeah, yeah do a more powerful Mega Forest than what you saw. Payoff. Hmm. Mega level stat payoff. Very powerful attack. Yeah. A quality. A quality. You get the first attack on other Pokemons. They're pretty much gone. They may they may or may not have a you know answer for that. So I definitely be scared if I went against this. So I'm gonna give it an A as a payoff. Overall, eight out of ten B. Hey, you may have been biased. That's a bit, just a little bit less than the last Ampharos. Why is that? The last one, there's a bit less risk. You're not giving away two prize cards. Having the ability, the effect felt you know, fresh. It felt unique. It felt cool. So I, that's why I'm you know, leaning towards that one. Mega Ampharos. I've done this probably three or four times. Already, it's good back to go back to because it's so strong. But I already know about you, Farls. Steam Siege, we did it. We've done you for years, so or one year. Yeah, and you probably you got beaten by it in the first round. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, no, totally. I had that. I just didn't have my Farls back there. Yeah, sure, sure. What is for next time, Donald? Friday, we're doing right you break. Why? This is Raichu! Have you seen these Raichu cards? Especially maybe some new ones? They have a nice synergy with the Raichu break. Although, you know, there's some tasty ones uh, too that, you know, didn't were not out when Raichu break came out. This was the very first break. And since then, Raichus, you know, they, they've, uh, they have some uh, very nice uh, synergies. You know, with other decks, but never have we seen this on its own. So, let's go ahead and revisit Raichu Break. Maybe use some of the new Raichus. Do it. Uh, do something cool with these uh, moves. So, I think that's that. Yeah, that's uh, that's for next time. That's for next Friday. Now, okay, we usually do a comment here. I suppose this one's more uh, more serious note than others. It is. No, good to see you again, Elavi and Dramora. I remember you, and you said, Hmm, I came up with this idea, and I literally passed this deck idea to Yellow Swallow yesterday. Did you snag it on Twitter, or was it a coincidence? You know, you, me, Yellow Swallow, we all can come up with our decks from scratch. Absolutely. And I believe that in, the, in this, just how the game is done, the core synergies between uh, major cards, I think they're just you know, meant to be used, such as Electrodes, 
and maybe any every other lightning Pokemon that's strong. Jolteon and Faros, Raikou, and this goes for other decks too, it's like Snorlax GX. My, my top choice was Fairy. Yeah, so because fairies, just how the game works, they have a lot of synergies with other cards that not only apply to fairies, anybody with a fairy energy gets free retreat, free potion, so every time you see a good colorless card, you think fairy. And while the core synergies are the same, you know, no two person may come up with the deck with the same way. I would say, coincidentally, it could happen because, I mean, this is a card game. You have so many limit things to work with, but the thing is, I don't think nobody actually copies each other. We all, you know, are given the same math problem, and yeah, you just use these two, two together. In the past, I made a mistake where I said, hey, I think it was a Rayquaza deck where it says, hey, Rayquaza Togekiss, totally Donald's idea, nobody should take this. It just ended up hurting me by doing things like that, so... Any idea you see that I come up with, it's yours to use. Please, this channel is supposed to help uh, help you out. It's supposed to be useful. So these things, they just, you know, maybe just we just hurt each other pointlessly. So it's all yours, guys. And I think that's that's that. So thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchers. Please like, subscribe, because you are going to get more great, awesome content just like this. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, which I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to post pretty much after this. Hey, check out this video. It's it's coming out pretty soon. And let's see, all my remixes, they can be found on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, wherever you like to stream. It's also at the bottom of the channel playlist. They're there too. It's just been done by the company I'm using to get music up there so I think uh, that's that now yeah that's that thank you very much integrals and the Frenchals we're gonna see uh, I'm gonna see you this Friday probably Friday night for right you break bye bye thank you and bye bye